Hey, what's going on? It's BJ here. Now, this is semi an extension of my Trump series, but it's also just expanded Gematria. Now, if you don't know Trump's number, Trump equals 88. Trump equals 88 in Gematria. That's why it says text Trump to 88022. 2 and 8 being the inverse on the numerological scale, 1 and 9, 7 and 3, 6 and 4, and 5 would be itself, or it's the middle. And um, just to go into this, Trump obviously knows his gematria blatantly here, and if you see my other videos, you can blatantly see how obvious it is. So you know that he knows his gematria, so of course he's going to use it when he talks about anybody else. Now, Donald Trump tweets at Hillary Clinton, Where are your 33,000 emails you deleted? And, of course, if you don't know, Clinton is 33. Blatant. So that's what got me into this. Uh, the other article I saw today that just gets me even deeper in this whole post, Donald Trump refers to Jeff Zucker as his personal booker and CNN president personally calling him the... So let's just look at this. Jeff Zucker equals 666. Okay. <laughs> if you look at people involved with Trump and in his political life, first of all, Marla Maples was his first wife, 666. And Sarah L. Palin equals 666. Now, it's not that common of a gematria, guys. So don't think that this is like something that just occurs naturally. And also, to get back to this article, if you understand Gematria a little bit, look it up. President equals 47. And so does personally equals 47. So they basically said President 47, personally 47 twice in a row. Um, next step I'm going to go into is just the 666 Club. It's so ridiculous with the amount of major political figures with this gematria and that are of relevance. Rahm Emanuel, of course, Obama's chief of staff, mayor of Chicago, 666. Going from bottom to top. Michelle Bachman, that's not even how you'd spell typically Michelle or Bachman, at least in my understanding, 666. Rafael Cruz, well, if you didn't know who this was, well, it was, uh, I should have just put it in this last thing, it was one of his opponents, it was the major Donald Trump opponent, was uh, Rafael Cruz, a.k.a. Ted Cruz, 666, so perfect. Just like his ex-wife, his ex-competitor. Uh, Kissinger, Henry Kissinger, which of course uh, Trump met with in the last month here, 666. B. Netanyahu, I can understand if you'd consider this a stretch. B. B. Uh, Netanyahu, obviously uh, head of Israel there, 666. No, most people, most people don't know this. Uh, Erdogan or whatever uh, you want to call him, the head of Turkey right now. Recept is his first name, of course, 666. Mikel Tamer, who is the intern president of Brazil, which Brazil has so many messed up things, I can't believe the summer games are even going on. 666. He probably won't be in there much longer, but I just know this because I did an article on him. Deborah Palfrey, this is the DC Madam, and if you could check out my other article on her, crazy 666 connections around her. Gerald Salente, the, the trendsetter, the trends forecaster. If you guys didn't know, this was a show with Alex Jones, it's all part of the promotion. He never predicted anything that came true, he would predict for crazy worse that never happened yet, and just pushed it all the time. I gotta throw David Cameron in there uh, for honorable mention 667. Jeez. I wonder what was up with that. <laughs> and then uh, this is some side topic. I don't really I don't really want to get into it, but Hiller is a 432. 432 plus 234 is 666. 
You'll find that 432 is major significance. I think I'm going to do a whole video on 432 next. But uh, last thing I want to really cover before I end is they're just saying right now, if you don't know who this is, Elizabeth Warren. Uh, Elizabeth Warren's attacking uh, Trump right now. She just decided to join the train. The train with Obama, because Obama just decided to back Hillary, so now she's going to back Hillary. She's such a joke of a person. It just shows you how stupid the people are that support these people. This lady has literally been known and found for basically fraud of saying that she's part Native American. Now, I don't care if you have 0.5 or 0.10% Native American, which she may. Don't call yourself Native American. That's not what you are. You're not Native American. Or whatever tribe you want to claim heritage to. It's just absolutely ridiculous to try to say that you're 10 or 20% of something and that you are them. It's like being 20% Asian, 30% Mexican, 30% Russian, and 30%, you know, I'm not, my numbers are not, or 20% uh, Canadian. And then being claiming that you're all of them. You know? It's like you're not all of them. That's it's a citizenship. It's not it has nothing to do. And she got major discounts at college, but whatever. It's just such a joke of a person. It's funny. I just thought I'd throw that out there that how retarded mainstream people are. And if you even have even if this affects in any way the voter mannerism, but like I said, it's all a joke. Obviously, it's a joke, and you know that you would probably would be following this channel. But all right, aloha, take a good day's break, and enjoy yourself. Life's too short. Don't work yourself to death. If you're working more than four days a week, you better have some kids to support. All right, peace, aloha.